Hello, hello, I'm back again with another cool Premiere Pro tutorial. I really apologize because I have not uploaded anything for a long time do it nicer than I have last year, as many of you know. In this tutorial, we're going to create a nice image slideshow with the new assets that we just uploaded to the site. Of course, it's free as always, so you can go ahead and download from my site. This video tutorial is made possible thanks to my best photographers, Edward and Joanna Vapor. As you know, in my past tutorials, all the images I used were from Edward. And today I'm going to use Joanna's photo. You can check their website and the links down below in the description. But before we start, let's take a look what we're going to be creating today and also where to download the assets. So here's the first preview we're going to be creating today. Let me just play it. And also I have another preview that I create with those assets trying to play so you can do also just uh, open with the bridge and you can start playing with. Let me just play it. So you see the cool project that you can create with those assets. So I'm going to show you what to download in my website. You can go and it says coming soon. Of course, the it's called Free Premiere Pro CC 2014 Puzzle Pack. I decided to call it Puzzle because it contains a lot of pieces and we'll start putting it all together and create that nice uh, slideshow. So that's what we're going to be creating. Also, you know, just go to my website and download. For uh, some people that have a problem with the free video overlay p uh, pack, I, I really suggest to use a different browsers and also uh, check your high-speed connection. All right, so before we uh, close everything, let me see. Actually, you know what? Let me just open the Premiere. Actually, I already have my Premiere. It's the latest 2014 uh, uh, Premiere, of course, uh, which has uh, Adobe. Uh, and then here we go. So we're going to create our first weekend. I'm going to show you the list that we're going to be creating. Uh, the folders and the compositions. So let me just pull up the list and I'm going to show you the folders which contains all and the comps folder contains logo, composition, main composition, and comp 1, comp 2, comp 3, and comp 4. And IMG compositions contains uh, IMG comp 1, comp 2, comp 3, and comp 4. And the clips we're going to, as I said for this project, I'm going to pull in the, all these uh, clips, the numbers. So you can just pause the video if you're going to use the same uh, clips and do the same project. If you uh, you try to do different projects, so you open the uh, folder you download from the side and try to play with them. And the text folder we have also, you know, and the text folder must be the background, center background in the text. Nero Studio, you know, you can be, a, it cannot be, a, I mean, just Nero Studio. It can be your own name or logo, whatever. And also, you know, this is the text that we, later on, we will see the comp on um, 001, that's uh, for later. So before we start, we're going to see Premiere. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk about Premiere. This is for advanced people. You know, it's not for basic uh, users. So, but you know, if you follow in this tutorial, of course, you can create this also because we have the, the mask animated or the mask, as uh, you see in the, in the website called, uh, you know, the call uh Animated mats, you know, free downloads always. So let me just uh, minimize and then go back to Premiere. So the first uh, in Premiere, you know, there's a nice uh, little icons down here. So you trash the loop and, you know, the bang and the new item. So to create them, you know, just click and you see a sequence title. You can create a lot of things. And also there's another way to create, you know, the bang, uh, you know, just given right click. And also if you don't know, just go to new and also this uh, given an option to create a sequence and titles 
and the shortcuts. I really suggest you to learn the shortcuts much faster and easier to uh, learn and do your projects. So I'm gonna just create a, you know, using the shortcut. So for create a comp, is you know, it's a uh, command M. So it will see, you know, it will pop up the new sequence. You know, and the presets, you can choose uh, your own preset. I'm taking a 1080p and, you know, 24 uh, frames per second. Uh, you know, it's a 10, uh, 1920 by 1080 and then just call main. And so that's, and also to create the Bing, as you know, hit this and uh, you you can call you. So I'm going to call this comps. Okay, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time, you know, doing this because it takes a lot. I, I'm going to just do this a little the shorter I can. So I'm going to pass you already and I have to create. So I'm going to create my folders. I'm going to uh, create my compositions and put all the clips, all the comps and the uh, right folders and also the text and the right folders. So just keep, you know, organized. So you're going to pass the video and we will come back. As I, you use, as I say, you already know the list. So you, you know which one goes in, same, in, the, in the folders. So as I say, I'm going to pass the video and come back. Okay, after I finish creating the folders in the clump, so I'm here, if you see the project uh, slider composition or panel. So I have the uh, IMG comp, I, uh, IMG, which is the image and the clips, and also I have the text folder. So you see that what we have in the folder, so let me just pull my... As you see, also we have the names of the folders on this tab. The way to put in this, just so you know, drag and drop, you see this uh, little purple showing up and then we have in the zone that's much easier to navigate. I don't like the way, uh, you know, to search it from the browser media because, uh, you know, if you have a folder inside and a lot of folders, so it makes a long, uh, you know, a long list in here. That's what I don't like that way. So that's I try to create this nice and organized. Well, so the first, uh, after we have this, actually we need to go to comps first and go to the logo. We're going to start working with the logo first. So first we need to go actually logo, open the logo, and we have the logo, and then we need to open the text where we have the uh, background, the logo center, background center, and then we need to, uh, you know, six seconds, all of them, we're gonna do six seconds, you know, we understand the same length, so just to drag. And so there's the, uh, there's the uh, background, we have to remove that again uh, later on. So now it's just for animate the uh, text. Well, and also we need to create this, uh, I mean, insert the uh, center background, it's the same, and then put the six, six seconds. And then we need to add the clips set up before we um, do the text, so you go to, you know, go to clips. And we're gonna, you, you already know the list, so I'm gonna just pull in the uh, numbers of clips we, we need. So it's uh, 47, so I'm gonna just look it up. We got 47. Just drag and drop, and also we need the 23, so 0, 0, 0023. And there we have, and also we need to add a color. The, the way to do add a color in Premiere is go to the uh, effect panel and look for temp. I found that nice help to change the color in Premiere, so just drag and drop. And also we need to change the color, so it's up to you, any color you like. In my case, I'm going to use the A30 and 40. If you want the same color, just uh, copy the same values. Also, we need to copy this, and there we have. And the same thing, we might need to copy the same effect, so just uh, right-click, copy, and go to my uh, layer, which is in the layer 4, and then make sure to select it, and go back to the effect control panel, right-click, and paste it. And we have the same color. So this, there is the color actually, you know, the uh, vertical line is a little bigger. So we're going to just scale down a little bit right there. So once we have this, we need to create the text, of course. So let me just go back to my folder text. And, you know, as I said before, you can just click this. Oh, I use the uh, shortcut, which is Command T, Control T and PC, of course. And here we're going to just type Nero Studio. And here we're gonna just uh, pick the text tool and just gonna tape Nero Studio. And also we might need to change the color to black, maybe. Yeah, that we have in the preview. I mean, and then also we need to change the uh, font, font style. Of course, so just go and download. If you're gonna use the same font, just go to download from thatfont.com. 
and to free up quotas for personal use, not for commercial. And so let me, once we have also, we might need to put it in a little bold. And there we have, and just save it before we crash it, and then just close. And also we need to create another text, so just Command T, when it call this New York. Now, so you know what? I create the uh, composition instead of creating text. So let me just delete and go back to create text. What I okay text and curl. There we have. And then we need to pick the text tool and just uh, you know then let me just. Uh, Create New York Fashion 2015. There you have, and also we might need to change the color. As I say, it's up to you and color you like. So in my case, I'm using this nice color. And also we might need to change this to the same font that we have before. And maybe a little bit bold and then just align a little bit to the center maybe okay save it and I'm gonna just close this once we have this actually we need to go and animate this but before to animate we need to do something else you know we need to drag this into the timeline first and both the text so just so can drag into the timeline and go and create, we're gonna create a mask, so you know, command T, and then call Nato Mask. And we're gonna try to cover the Nero Studio text. So let me just same thing. Uh, you know what, let me align this, because we don't, kind of like a little weird, that. And let me just, um, actually, you know, go back to my Nero. Let me just delete the mask first. Okay, so I'll go back to Nero. And I'll try to align, you know, just align a little bit. Okay, and then just save it. And also, yeah, there you go, I guess. All right, so now we need to, once we have this, we need to create the mask as I said before, and do the same. So, Nera mask. Use the rectangle tool, mask tool. Let me just uh, cover the text with the rectangle, I mean with the mask. So we need to change the color also, it might, doesn't matter the color, so it might be bird, uh, green. And then just save it and close this. We need to create an unmask, so then just, um, it's, you know, command T. Okay, so New York, mask. Same Then use the mask tool or rectangle tool and then just cover the text. And also we need to change the color. Maybe this the one we made uh, blue. Let's do blue. There we have. The color doesn't matter because it's gonna be uh, masked. So once we have this, we need to delete the text. Now we need to delete from the timeline. And then, you know, actually, you know what? Let me see what we have in here. I'm not sure you know. Uh, before we proceed, we're gonna just uh, uh, do what? You know, yeah, let's animate the text. So the way to animate text is, you know, uh, make sure to select the text and then right click and new sequence from the clip. So we're gonna move from the from the left to right. So make sure it's like, actually, you know what? Let me put this uh, six seconds long as well. If we go back to select the text, go to effect into panel, select machine, drop down this alert channel, you see, it, drag down the value, the position. So let me just add a keyframe and move to the left a little bit. Okay, if we go one second long and go back to 960. Nine, there, there's the animation. So let me see, actually, you know what? Let me just uh, close this, close all this. Just keep, keep the logo. Then we need to animate the net uh, studio as well. So as I said, right click, new sequence for the clip. Make sure it's six seconds.
I can see because it's a black, so let me just put in the second layer and just drag the center background. We have to move later on. Anyway, just uh, to animate, to make sure it's selected, go back to motion. You know, it's uh, you know the same. We need to move this from the right to left. So uh, go at the zero sort of frame and then at a keyframe position and go to actually you know move to the right as as I said right there and then go one long second long and go back to 960 and there we have the animation so now we need to move the background of course as I said before and just put this in the first layer and we're gonna close this all right so back to the log composition now we need to put it all together so let me pull first the animation so let me just pull in the New York animation and also let me just pull the mask so just put it on the top make sure it's the same length or duration and select the New York fashion animated go back to my effect uh, panel and look for the track map just drag and drop All right, actually, I double clip that was all. Anyway, so when it says mad, we need to see where we have the uh, mass we have in the layer sex, so video sex must be. And there we have, actually, you see the uh, nice uh, animating. Anyway, also, we need to animate the other text, so go back to my text and just pull in the Nerd Studio animated text, and then the same thing, uh, pull the mask on the top. Uh, hold on, let me just close this. And I'm gonna pull the mask, you know, make sure it's six seconds. And then select, go back to effect panel and track mat the same and no, same way. Actually, you know what? I made it run. I applied to the wrong. Okay, so make sure don't make a mistakes. All right, so as you know, we have in the layer eight, so there we have. So in here we need to uh, first uh, animate the text, first the vertical line, then the text, and then the background, and then the lines. So let me just see. Actually, you know, just move this a little bit to. And first we need to see. Okay, then we need to move the text. Uh, the second is text. Okay. Let me see. Okay, and after we finish animating the text, we need to animate the um, the background. So uh, make sure the center background is selected, and go back to the motion. Actually, you know what? Yeah, and then at the keyframe where it says position, also uncheck a uniform uh, scaling. And then we move like you know half second maybe, and just uh, you know scale down, just the height. There you have. Let's see what we have now. Beautiful. And so when uh, when we when we finish animating the background, so we need the lines coming in. So where the lines? So let's see what we have. beautiful all right so the second or the last thing is we need to cut this all you know so make uh, six seconds so make sure let me see put six seconds so we need to cut all of them and delete those pieces so the shortcut is uh, C as a Charlie so that's the shortcut to cut the um, you know just cut all of them you know a small b is the selection tool. I'm gonna just select all of them also and delete. So look what we have. Beautiful. Okay, here we got the logo. So we're gonna just uh, save and close and come back with the first composition because we spend a lot of time, I guess. And you know what? Let me just go back to my logo. Actually, you know, as I said before, remember I had a I told you just delete the background. So I delete it again, 
So we have it. Okay, so just save it. Let me just close this and go back to my camp one. We're gonna start working with camp one. Uh, it's getting interesting, I guess. Okay, so in here, as you saw, as I showed you before, the list and the camp one, here we got the list. First, we have to animate the image. So I'm gonna show you the animation of the image, how, can, how we can animate the image. And then you can see, just pause the video and see the camp one, what we have, camp two, and camp three, and camp four. That's the clips and the order it has to be. You know, also I'm gonna put in the uh, packet, I'm gonna put this list so you can, if you're gonna create the same project. So let's uh, concentrate in the first composition. And then as you see, AMG uh, Camp 1 and the numbers of the clips also. So let me just pause the video. So let me just minimize this and open the Camp 1. I already have Camp 1, but before we need to uh, animate the image, so let me go back to IMG Camps and open the IMG Camp 1. Okay, here we go. And uh, also we need to go back to the IMG, IM, IMG folder and drag the first image. So the first, of course. Uh, also we need to make sure the six seconds and then we need to animate, make sure it's selected. And you know what? It's a little bigger. So make sure it's uh, motion selected and the effect control panel drop down the little triangle and when it's scaled down a little bit. And also we might uh, drag a little bit down. To the right a little bit because we're gonna animate from the right to left. So at the beginning we're just we're gonna put the, you know what it says position, we're gonna put the keyframe and go all the way to the end, we're gonna just move to the left a little bit. And see, there we have the animation. So I'm not gonna animate all of them, I'm gonna just close this. So you know how to animate this scale. What I did is uh, the first, and also, you know, I made this um, scale. Uh, you know, so uh, like uh, what I made is I uh, go to IMG Camp, open these IMG Camp 2 and also go back to my image and then just pull this in. Six seconds, of course. At the beginning and also, you know, I need to uh, scale down a little bit. So the way I animated this is just make sure at a keyframe where it says kill and go all the way to the end and let's kill a little bit. That's the animation I made. If you're using a video, of course, you don't have to animate like the image, but if you're using an image, I really suggest you to make a different composition, especially if you're using track map here. All right, so just uh, animate in different compositions the image and you will be fine. So let me just close this and go back to my camp one. So you know what, I'm gonna pause the video and come back when I uh, animate all those two images that we have to animate, so you already know how to animate. And I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back. All right, I'm here back again. I will animate all the images, so as I said, so you can just animate yours and then start playing. So. After we animated the image, we're gonna open the Composer 1 and first, as uh, let me show you the list again. So let me see, make sure you see, this is the order it has to be and the following layers. First IMG Comp, uh, <coughs> which is this one. And just open that. And you see, and it goes, uh, you know, to the first IMG, then the clips, and then the text. So I'm gonna make just this composition, uh, you know, uh, you see, uh, Comp 2, the following list has to be the clips and the, uh, the following layers and the comp 3 and comp 4 so let me as I say you can download it uh, also the list will be in there and also you can uh, pause the video and see which one you have to put in top so I'm gonna just make this uh, comp 001 and I'm gonna pause the video and you will do the same so let me just uh, show you the, the way to do this it's the same uh, procedure that you can do all of the camps all four camps all right, let me just minimize this. For as I said, let me see what we have uh, first. As I see, as you see also, it's IMG. So let me just 
you know, just drag the first image. And let me see, open the list again, and then I'm going to just uh, pull all the uh, the clips first, and then I'm going to, you know, because I need to pass the video, because I have to look up the videos and the, uh, where I have uh, actually the clips, I said, um, you know, what is the clips of folder, actually. And so let me know, you know, I have to look it up then, and I'll be back when I put it all together in the timeline. Alright, after I put all the um, clips on the following layers, so as I see, you already have a, a bit here. Uh, 20, you know, for uh, the IMG comes to 1, 14, 32, 33, 23, and 22. So, when you need to put the image inside the uh, 14, that's the mask. So, the, you know, as you know, it's the same procedure. I'll just go, go to track map. And just pull into the image. Actually, it's already, you know, double click that was all. And you know, we have in a second, and there we have. Actually, it, it, it's not showing, but if you play, there we have inside. Then the second one is the, uh, you know, so we can live in there. And the third is the low third from the left side. So we need to tint this. As you know, uh, we did the and the logo, so make sure to select it. Go back to <coughs> Effect Panel and look for ten, and just drag and drop. And let me change the color as well. As I said before, you can change your own color. So mine is D eight thirty forty. And there we have. If you play, there we have. And also we need to change the uh, put the lines. So the lines is the 23 so the same actually you know what let me copy the uh, same uh, color just uh, go to select the layer go to effect control panel copy go back to 23 and make sure the uh, effect control panel selected uh, right click and paste it. and so let me see what we have in here actually it's not showing because we might put in the deep oh it's you know we have an invisible Okay, so there we have. Actually, you know what? I don't need the animation of the lines in here, so we need to um, do this. Uh, you need to cut this. So let me just cut in here. And you know, as I said, the blade is the C, as so Charlie is the shortcut. So let me just cut and delete this part and just put it all the way to the first frame. And also, we need to extend this. So the way to extend, because it's not longer as the other one, so let me just cut again and select with the Selection tool, which is a small b, that's the shortcut. Right click, a speed and duration, and let me just put 10 seconds. We're gonna cut, doesn't matter. So, and also we need to cut in 6 seconds, which is here, and then delete this part. Also, we need to, I mean, we need to colorize the, um, you know, the, um, the loader down here, which is 22, I guess, and so let me just put this. You see it's 22, also you need to just go back to the effect control panel and paste because uh, we copy from the first, remember? And there we have, actually, you know, we have the low third and the image inside the mask. Well, so you need, we need to, you, as you know, it's not longer enough. So the way to put this is, you know, as I said, just cut, you know, select and right click, speed and duration. And the same, just cut. The same length, delete, cut, delete, the same this, that's the fast way to change when you don't have, I mean when you have a mole file it's not longer like the other one, so it's easier, you know. And also this one we might need to change, actually. Right click, speed and duration, 10 seconds. Actually 10 seconds, I put one second. Okay, again. And then cut. 
And then we have all the layers the same length, you see? It's nice. Also, we need to put, a, you know, a little drop shadow in this low third. So, which one's this? I'll show you this one, I guess. Okay, so, make sure both of them are selected. Actually, you know what? And just select this part and go back to my effect panel and look for shadow, drop shadow. Here we go, under the perspective folder, drop shadow, and just uh, drop in, you know, in the layer. We're going to make a couple changes in here. Actually, we go 70. And also, we might need to go 90, negative 90. In the distance, we might put a bit 20. I already play with, but you can try your own, you know, and also the colors. So the father, we might need to go 20 as well. And there we have, actually, you know. So that's the way to make. As you know, you already see the uh, list, so that's the way to play with this uh, little pieces. That's what I decide to call puzzle. And you, you don't have to see me doing all the camps because it's much easier. You just see the list and you see the following clips must be in the following layers. All right. Let me see. Actually, okay, the only thing we need to do is the, uh, the text this side and also the lower third. Actually, text. So let me, well, let me just go to my text folder and let's just make, you know, just clip on, uh, I mean, click on. Command T, that's the shortcut, and let me just call, let me see what we have, actually. Let me see what is the text call. So I decide to put, you know, a new name, because we don't know the name of the model, so. Zero, zero, 001, so let me just copy the same. Just hit OK. As I said, just, uh, you know, pick the text tool, type tool, and then just paste it. And there we have, actually, we might need to change the, um, you know, the color really white. As, as I said, it's up to you. You can change any other color. So let me just go by my phone. Actually, you know what? It's not working this. Actually, you know, let me put this a little bold. And also this, we might need to change to a real, maybe. And then we want to make sure it's real wide. And then we might need to resize a little bit, 50 maybe. Uh, I guess, yeah. Uh, you know, let me just 45. And then align. All right, and save it, and let me just close this. And also, we need to create another text for the right side. Welcome, you know. So let me see what I can put. Uh, let me see what we have in the uh, preview. Uh, it's Miss Universe. Okay, so let me just put the same. Let me just cut. Same, pick the text tool and just uh, paste it. And also let me change the, as I said, let me change the font. And also this is not working for different, you know, numbers. Uh, so just go real. And also we gotta make sure it's really white actually. Or the color you like, of course. And then we might need to rotate. So you see the properties over here, you can rotate, you know, you see, you can rotate. But I find the first and and the easiest is uh, this rotation tool. And then we can start rotating, it's much easier uh, for me in this case. Also, we might need to align a little bit. And I think it's a little bigger, so we're gonna just go down font size to 80. Yeah. And then save it and close. And then we have actually, let me just drag and drop. And you see, we have in the composition, it's nice looking. 
and also we need to pull this all right you see that's easy right all right so we need to animate the text a little animation so let me just uh, see where the loader uh, animation ends right there so we might need to also cut this actually first this this we try to animate this and so we might move on to let me see what all right there let me just go there and let me see actually you know make sure it's selected and go to machine and you know write down this value it's 960 so let me just add a keyframe and go and see the time the animate the loader animation ends actually you know what let me just go back to and then pull to the right side the text so let me just pull this to the right side and that's the way to animate the text uh, basic animation premiere so let me see what the loader animation ends and let me go back to my effect control panel and just go back to 960 and you will see the animation you see so when the loader ends or, or enter also the text enters okay okay so I think it's a little bit late so let me just move on. all right so next thing is the this Miss Universe okay so it's the same thing actually you already have in there so let me see what the uh, the animation ends actually you know what land then we can just cut this or just you know and also we might need to add a little bit motion from the left to right I guess okay so let me just uh, see if we see this a uh, red color it does the loader so we just see ends and then we start opening up a little bit so let me see where it ends right there okay so then we can put the text also to to the center I guess all right so let me see the uh, animation how it looks actually let me just play well it's not playing as smoothly because we need to render out so that's the way you know actually you know we need to pull this a little bit so make sure all of them are six seconds so you know that's the uh, way to animate so I guess we finished with the first uh, composition so as I say you can follow along with you know just go open the second and start playing you know putting the, put the clips and the following layers and all of them and also you already know how to animate the text from left to right or from the right to left or from the top to bottom or from the bottom to top that's the way to animate the basic animation and premiere of course so anyway so you know what I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when I finish all the composition which as, uh, which we have uh, four and the preview as we saw in the pre in the video preview it's a uh, four campuses so we already finished the first and camp 01 I uh, should say and I'm gonna you know uh, um, do the same with the camp 2 uh, camp 3 and camp 4 as I say you can just uh, see the list you can download the list and you will see if you're gonna do the same project so you just follow in the list which one has to be in the top you know following the layers you see it's camp 2 camp 3 and camp 4 so I'm gonna you know pause the video and I'll be back when we finish uh, doing the compositions all right after we finish the composition here we are back actually i have the count zero one count two count three and count four all right so you see in here the count four so you see the uh, clips and also if you see this uh, red line so the only thing i i mean what i did uh, this is uh to the uh image you know so i added the uh drop shadow and I the opacity I gave 100% and the uh, duration is 90 I mean negative 90 and the distance is this this is the distance so it's uh, 20 pixels and the softness is 0 so that's what I get this with the drop shadow and also uh, if we go to the uh, comp 3 also you see this uh, line red line it's the same thing I made uh, just uh, using the, uh, you know, so it was uh, this is 14. No, it's four, eight. Okay. 
Actually, you know what? Which one is this? Actually, is this one? Let me see which one. Is. Okay, it's this one. Okay, so I made is the same thing. You know, uh, yeah, it was the same. Okay, so the same thing I made. Uh, I, you know, I had a drop shadow, and you know, opacity hundred percent, and the duration is negative ninety, and you know, distance is forty pixels. You see, it's forty pixels. And the softness is zero. That's what I got this uh, real nice. Also, if you want to add, add this, uh, you know, this high, you can also add a bit. And that way, you can you have to change the, the direction to 90. So you will have this. Just let's see if change, you know, just 90. You see? Change the position. So I don't want that way. So I just put a negative 90. Okay, so there you have, that's the way we uh, end up with the uh, composition. So, you know, as I said, I have one, two, and three, and this is the four. So, also, you know, the text and the logo, I animated the same way we animated in the, in the logo, and, and also in the first composition, you already know how to animate it. Okay, so going on, uh, going back to my main, I have empty. So, the first we need to drop in here is if we go to the text uh, folder and just drag the um, you know, the text, I mean the background. And so we might need to extend a little bit. We we, we don't know yet the uh, duration, so let's extend a little bit. And we're going to start dragging the compositions. First, we need to drag the logo, of course. So if we go to the count folders and we have the logo, so just uh, make sure, uh, you know what? We're going to put in the, in the layer, in the third layer. Okay, just make sure. And there you go. And then we need to put the uh, drag into is the first composition, which is this one, of course. And let me see. Yeah. All right. So the second one we need to drag is the as you know, as you guess, of course, uh, the comp two, and the comp three, and the last was the comp four. Okay, I think there we have. Actually, you know what? Let me see. Yep, yep. The only thing we're missing is if we see here, you see this part? So we're missing the center background. Okay, so what I did is I pulled down the uh, center background. If we just go back to my text folder and just drag the, you know, to make sure uh, we not under the logo, it uh, has to be under the comp one and then just stand the, you know, on the duration, which is uh, 29 seconds, almost 30, yeah, 30. All right, so that's, you, you, so if we see, actually, you know what, it's covering the whole uh, screen, of course, we don't, we don't want that. So, you know, remember what uh, we did in the uh, logo, so we just uh, select and go motion and just scale down the, uh, the height, you know, just uh, uncheck the uh, uniform scale and just, uh, you know, start dragging a little bit down. There you go. So if we now take a look, we have covered. See? And that's it. I guess we finished. So any question, any comment, just drop off on uh, YouTube comments. Uh, so you know, let me see. Uh, actually, I, the only thing we need to do is add the uh, sound. I don't, I don't have the soundtrack right here, but I think we we might need to. I don't gonna put this uh, the soundtrack in here because I don't have one ready. Because I have another computer, so I mean, I'm a little lazy. I don't want to be transferring. So that's the way to make, you know, it's uh, uh, looking nice, you know, just go to my website, download the uh, the asset, and start playing with those uh, puzzle pieces. And then we might need to render and see it plays smoothly. So, you know what, I'll be back when I render this out and to play. Okay, okay, it's ready to play. Let me just hit the enter button. Uh, actually, you know, space button or key. There you have.
All right. So I think that's all for the, for today. I hope you, you guys like it. And one more thing, I really, really suggest you guys to do not leave your email address on YouTube. Please use Facebook page, my Facebook page, and send a message. You don't have to add me as a friend. You have to send a message if you cannot download the project or the the products from my site. Just leave the comment on my uh, Facebook Messenger and leave the, uh, the email address. It must be Gmail. Please do not leave on YouTube. Well, I'm not uh, responsible for anything, you know, just so uh, and just letting you know, please use uh, Facebook as I say, and please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. So, next time I will be more than happy to help you with anything. Okay, so I guess that's all for today. Hope you guys like it as I said before. And see you the next time because I'm uh, working on the uh, other project that we left off. I mean, we uh, had an stand by the mother's. Um, a mother's template of course we have to end it up with after effects and also another thing as you know what I think that's all okay so I just uh, just want to mention that I as I said at the beginning I really apologize because I cannot upload anything because I'm, I'm on recovery also this last Sunday I had a bone implant so I can't talk too much and I'm still uh, you know the pain so I'm on recovery uh, it's uh, sad to say, but this uh, last 14 and the this uh, year 2015 are the worst years for my I ever had. Anyway, so it's who cares that anyway. So I just want to say thank you for supporting me. Also, thank you so much, my friends uh, Edward, uh, Joanna Vapor, and my brother and my family. But uh, the first God, I just want to say. Thank you, God, for all, uh, for giving me another chance to be here with you guys. All right. Thanks so much, and see you next time.